Hello, and welcome to another video on Lion's Den's Fight Club 5. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a character using the built-in character builder. Uh, we're going to create a rogue, to be specific, and let's get started. So the character builder is a simple seven-step process uh, for walking you through building a character. I do wish that they put the background before the class, um, but it's okay, you just have to keep in mind what background you're going to use uh, so that the skill proficiencies that come with that background, you're not selecting them when you select your class. Uh, so in this case, we're going to create a uh, basic human. You see the ability score increases are automatically added for you. Just click accept, and then we're gonna go to our class and I'm going to select rogue. You'll notice that it brings up a description of the class, including all the various hit points, proficiencies, spell casting if that applies, uh, and then you can see all the various features. This is where you would want to go to see the description of the features. Uh, later on, when we go to select them, uh, it won't show that, so this is definitely a screen you want to look at. Uh, for spell casters, you definitely want to take note of which spells per level that you get to select when you create your character. Uh, or level up in that case. Uh, and also, again, back to the skills. So in this, we choose four because we're dealing with a rogue. Uh, now I'm going to choose the acolyte background later. Um, so there's not really much overlap here, so it's not going to be a big deal. But if I was choosing, say, the criminal or the charlatan background, I'd want to make sure that I don't select the skill proficiencies that the background's going to give me. And that's where it comes in handy to, to know those backgrounds in advance. Uh, with this character, I'm going to select Stealth, Sleight of Hand, Perception, and Investigation. Uh, and then I'll click Next. These are those class features that that other screen showed you the description on. Uh, here, they're just toggle uh, selections. Uh, most characters, you will just take whatever is given to you. Some of them you will have to make choices. Click accept and then we go to our background. Um, ignore the other backgrounds there. That's for an adventure I'm working on. Uh, so I'm going to select the acolyte and I'm going to notice in the default compendium it doesn't tell you what the skills proficiencies are. I'm not sure why that is. In my custom compendium I have that information uh, added for it. So uh, I'm going to hit the checkbox and that selects our background. Now there's no feats with the standard human, so uh, I want to open it and just say accept without selecting a feat, and then determine ability scores. In this case, I would normally roll. I could use the dice roller, uh, or I could just take the standard 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8, I think it is. Um, so let me just do that real quick, not that... Uh, now here there's no accept or next or whatever. I just hit the back and it does remember the roles or the ability scores. Uh, so then I'll choose my equipment. Now Fight Club 5 only has this um, buy equipment where you, you actually buy your items. You could go into your character later and add items based on what the, the player's handbook or the background gives you. Um, but in this case I really enjoy actually doing the, the role for... Um, the gold to go out and buy. So in this case, I'll buy some leather armor and I'll head back for weapons. We'll just grab a, uh, we'll say a rapier and a short bow and then uh, 20 arrows and head back. Gear, I can pick individual items uh, or I can just go to an equipment pack and say select the burglar's pack. Hit back, and that's fine for equipment. I'll hit back again. And now we have my equipment selected. Uh, the final step is our finishing details, and this is where we would put in our name. Uh, you can select a portrait. And we'll just go with the first one up here. And I can fill in my age, height, weight, eye, skin. I'm just going to skip that for now and click Save. Uh, and now our character is complete. Now it's important to note that while the character is quote unquote complete from the wizard's perspective, there are a couple of things that you always want to check after creating a character. 
The first thing is your skill proficiencies. Uh, now in this case here, we have our stealth, sleight of hand, uh, perception and investigation from the class selection, uh, and then we have our insight and religion, which came from the acolyte. Uh, the second thing is uh, all of our weapons are here and set up that hasn't been an issue. Uh, the equipment, you'll notice that it, when you select a burglar pack or scholar's pack or any one of the packs, it'll automatically create your backpack as a separate container, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then it'll have all those items that, that come with it. Now, the final step in setting up your character is going through the various features. For instance, the languages by default, especially for human, will give you choice between common and one extra language. I find it useful to come in here and you can keep this text or you can remove it or you can add it after. But I like to just go in and replace it with the language. It shortens up the display and makes it a lot easier to read when you're looking at the screen. Uh, another thing that's very important to note is the expertise. Because expertise can be any skill that you get a proficiency in, you need to set that up manually for all rogue characters. It will not do it for you at character creation, at least not in the current version of Fight Club 5. Now doing so is very easy to do. So I'm gonna add expertise for stealth and sleight of hand. And I do that by simply tapping on the the feature it brings up the description and all that and then all i need to do is go under add modifier i'm going to select category skills done and then i'll go down and i'll select stealth plus proficiency bonus and then i will do the exact same thing for sleight of hand plus proficiency bonus and this modifier will stack with your existing proficiency bonus. So now you'll see my sleight of hand and stealth are plus seven. What's great about this feature is that proficiency bonus will track as you level up automatically. You don't have to go and change it when you move to plus three or plus four proficiency. It will automatically calculate it. So you just set it the first time when you create the character and you don't have to worry about it again. We don't have to do anything with sneak attack or thieves can't, uh, but under the acolyte, this is one of those where we would go in and we would select our languages. So here I might just back that up and say, um, uh, we'll just go with Dorvish and not <laughs> autocorrect. When you're using an app, you always have to worry about autocorrect. The D&D dictionary is not included with all Apple products. And let's go with Gnomish and let's see what autocorrect does there. Oh. That's that iPad keyboard. Look at that, it was there. And now we have Dwarvish and Gnomish. Now what I would normally do here uh, is I would go and just add those up on the top line so that I only have to look at one. Um, but really it's up to you. Um, now if I had a real backstory or something that I had developed on my own, I would probably go and add that under my notes here by giving it a title, body, or even adding a picture. Um, all things that you can do in Fight Club 5 that are really cool and uh, fun to do. Uh, but that is basically the process of creating a rogue in Fight Club 5. Uh, check the channel often, please subscribe, and uh, I'll have more content up shortly. Thank you.